Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over Way of the Hunter. Way of the Hunter was developed by Nine Rock Games and published by THQ Nordic, released on August 16, 2022 with an MSRP of $39.99. Why don't we get into it? Alright, I already know a lot of people who were keeping an eye on this game have been comparing it to the Hunter Call of the Wild. And the two seem to be pretty... There's, there's some differences. Uh, I'm gonna go over it real quick before I start. Uh, as a disclaimer, I am a super noob at these type of games and the learning curve of this type of game seems to be pretty high if you've never played something like this. So, the number one major difference is that it takes forever to hunt an animal. And it could be a literal hours if you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, when I played The Call of the Wild, uh, I managed to kill a deer at least in, 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 within at least a few hours. <laughs> this game, I've been wandering around. Let's see how long I've been playing. Three hours total. Not a single deer. I've killed. I killed some pheasants. I killed some badgers, uh, but no, no deer. So it's a lot more difficult. A lot more uh, quote unquote realistic. I guess I don't think it's realistic. I think people are mistaking tedium for realism. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Also, a couple of things. There seem to be less brand named rifles and attaches in the game. I mean, it's it's. I don't know if there's going to be more updates to the game, but keep that as you will. I read that in other reviews. Uh, so pretty much, people seem to be divided on the game. People who like more immersion slash realism. I'm using that in air quotes. Uh, seem to enjoy this game quite a bit. Whereas people who don't like taking too much time to hunt the animals don't seem to enjoy this game as much. Although, in general, most of the reviews seem to be positive for this game. Let's take a look at the map here. Uh, where am I exactly? So I've been tracking deer. Uh, in the very beginning, there's like a, a narrative. It's almost like Harvest Moon where like, Hey, come on down! Uh, you know, let's uh, <laughs> I'll show you how to hunt. And so you go into a property and then it kind of walks you through a short tutorial and then you're off. Uh, the kind of issue that I have, because I'm a noob, is that the deer seem to know I'm coming at about roughly 300 to 350 meters. Whereas my hunter sense, uh, if you can see here, uh, it'll kind of show you outlines of where the animals are and their state if you stop moving. Uh, it seems to act to be around 250 meters, uh, so yeah, the animals know I'm coming before I know they're there, so you have to be super di diligent about that. Uh, I think as I'm playing this game, I'm slowly starting to learn. Uh, basically, I'm supposed to go around and look for their kind of spots that they like to hang out, so let me put a marker there real quick. I'm gonna get rid of these. Okay, let me go over there real quick. I'll show you guys. So, in, in Hunter Sense, just always keep that on in my opinion. Uh, you're gonna see stuff on the ground highlighted in bright yellow. And you're gonna walk up to it and it's gonna show you footprints. Uh, it's gonna show you if they're eating anything nearby. And it'll say like, oh, the type of animal and how frequently it drops by the area so um you're supposed to what I, from what i gather uh, like go around and, and look like track them down look at where all their areas are and then find the area that they frequent and then just lie and wait for them if you have a hunting stand that's optimal if not you know you just have to find a, a place where you can get a line of sight on them and you can go prone you know you got the regular stuff you can go prone you can crouch you can, uh, you gotta hold C for keyboard and mouse players. Uh, control decreases your walk speed, and then shift increases it. So, it's got the same mechanics, you know, if they hear you coming, they'll scatter. You can see in the lower right hand corner, we have our posture, we have our ammo. And then we have the wind, the direction, and the speed, so you kinda wanna stay downwind of the animals. I don't know, yeah, I, I don't exactly know how the mechanics work in this game. 
You have a car. The map seems to be pretty large. Uh, the graphics seem to be pretty okay. You can go into the lodge and sleep to make it daytime or nighttime, depending on what you're hunting. Okay. And once I spook the animals, they seem to be in like a perma spook state until you go into the lodge, sleep, and come back later, which is what I should probably do, but I'm stubborn, so. This video is probably gonna be me just walking around trying to find a deer and then failing to kill one. I did shoot one, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> I did not shoot it in the heart. Okay. Let me see if um, this will show anything. Yeah, so it's like it's kind of difficult um, for me. I never really invested a lot of time in these games. Here, it's supposed to say um, here you can see an icon here that uh, what you call it that they they come and feed in this area. Uh, these green points you have to discover. These are fast travel points. You can see what type of animals there are. This is currently where I'm supposed to be hunting the deer. We can go to the uh, the lodge and then just just hope that something comes by. Even the pheasants are kind of hard to shoot because like I can't see them. There's trees and bushes everywhere. Frickin', you know, I use my hunter sense. I'm like crouch walking up, prone walking up, crawling up, <laughs> prone walking. That doesn't make sense, right? You get what I'm saying, though. And it's like they keep moving, so it's like, how am I supposed to shoot them? You know, like, do I take position somewhere else? You know, I just, I'm guessing you just take some a position somewhere else where you can see stuff, high ground. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, I'm learning this game. Hey, you get different weapon loadouts. You can swap between them. Okay. There's our stand. Oh. See? There's the... I don't really see anything there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Let's zoom in. And zero our rifle to 150. Did I even shoot them? I don't even know. Let's go check. No, they're just they're just fine. What the heck? Fifty meters. Oh. Okay. There we go. I thought it was one fifty. Anyways. You guys do stuff like zero your rifle. Zeroing means um, I zero it for 50, meaning if something is 50 meters away, whatever I'm aiming at will hit. Um, so you gotta adjust the zero. Now where is the... Where is that darn pheasant? I know I shot it. I saw blood. Um... Hmm. If you don't zero it, then you have to adjust for the bullet drop and aim up or down. No, seriously though, where is the stupid pheasant? <laughs> where is it? Weird. Okay. Um, kind of supposed to show me like a blood trail. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, I'll make for a terrible hunter. Yeah, I only got a dollar for it. Oh, zero. Oh, man. That sucks. grave just deer just showed up out of nowhere you know I'd be like oh dear 
and then I just shoot him. Yeah, I don't know if you're like supposed to be constantly tracking the animals or like figure out like their where they like to go and just wait for them to show up. I have no idea. Because every time I try to follow them around, they always know I'm coming, you know? Like no matter how how slow I'm approaching, no matter what the direction of the wind is. So I'm clearly doing something wrong here. Okay, well, let's go to the lodge. It's gonna sleep. Actually, can I sleep in here? I don't know. I never slept. I was too stubborn to come back here. So I was just hunting the deer. We're trying to hunt a deer, correction. Uh, this is the place where you can buy weapons and stuff. Um, okay. Rest until... Okay. Time has been changed, you are ready to hunt. Okay, um, let's fast travel here. Okay. Yeah, I always just turn a hunter sense on. It's really no reason not to have it on. Alright, well, we'll make our way to this. And hope we don't spoop anything along the way. It's like, how do these deer know that, you know, I'm coming? Like, I'm just thinking of me, my, my ability to hear stuff. Bro, it's so bad. Is it because our survival senses skills have been like did they atrophy because we're we're we, we don't have to use it you know what I mean like do people who live in a state of constant danger or hunter being hunted like do they have the same level of hearing and smell I wonder I'm running out of bullets. Nice if it had like, um, like head tracking. <laughs> Did I shoot it? No. It's okay, I'm just practicing. It's not even worth killing anyway, to be honest. Like, I've gotten like one, one gold from him. Usually, the badgers gave me like 20. Um, oh. Oh dear. Frick, they're spooked already. This is what I'm talking about. Well, it was my fault for not being slow and methodical. I see you running deer. I will catch you. Well. Yeah, I know. I know what people are thinking. Well, what's this idiot doing just shooting in the middle of nowhere spooking all the animals? Listen, I'm, I'm a noob, okay? If I knew what I was doing, I would have shot a deer by now. It went in that, in that direction. Well. This kind of sucks. Let's see, they went in this direction. 
Maybe they'll come around this way. I'm just hoping because I want to be lazy. <laughs> I don't want to... I spent literal hours just walking around and stupid deer always elude me. God dang deer, man. Hey, man, how do you, how do animals catch him? Look, you gotta, they gotta be in like melee range, you know what I'm saying? I got a gun. How are they, how are they always one step ahead of me? Deer, these deer are telling you they're, they're, they're hacking. They're cheating. They got some wall hacks going on. What is that? Oh, is that a deer? Is that a rock? No, it's a deer. Oh my god. How, how far away is that? Why won't it... Well, definitely not. Try 150. Go for the butt. Where's the heart at? We got one deer, fellas! I knew they were good. Well, I, I was suspecting that they might come this direction, so... Man, being lazy paid off. Finally, fellas. After three hours, I've caught my first deer. That's right, Bambi. Your mama's dead. Let's claim our prize. Next time I'm going for a headshot. They have this neat, neat uh, bullet trajectory thing. Oh, did I shoot it in the heart? Nice. Got it in the heart, left lung. And right along. Oh yeah, someone was mentioning that the the bullets seem to do too much damage to the flesh. They'll just take a huge chunk out. All right, well, uh, let's sell this. We did it. Okay, well, let's see. They went this way. Where, Where is that? They went this way. They might cycle back around this way. So, I'll just cut them off. And go this way. Just take the, uh, take the car. Cause I'm lazy. I don't care if they can hear me. Hey, the one thing I don't get is... Oh, oh! This deer, can I hit him with the car? Let's try. Deer and hair and lights. I'm calling for you, deer. Oh yeah, that's right. You think you can run from me? I'm a car. I'm your worst enemy. Oh yeah, come here, deer. Come here. Come here. Oh, we got him, fellas. We got him. <laughs> we got him. All right, all right, all right, all right. That should be a perfect kill. What? Roadkill? Are you serious? One? One? It's perfectly fine. Look, this, this, oh my god. Okay, whatever. <sighs> I'm so upset now. One, one dollar for a perfectly fine deer? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Well, why don't we end it there? I'm so disappointed in the game now. What's wrong? It's, it's, it's perfectly edible. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Uh, the meat isn't ruined because I hit it with the car. Okay. Let's climb up here. I'm pretty sure they didn't hear my car and my honking because, you know... Plot armor.
my cunning plan seems to have backfired, although it was pretty satisfying hitting the deer with the car. Okay, why don't we call it there? Alright, the game is... I'm satisfied, I got two deers today. Way of the Hunter, developed by Nine Rocks Games, published by THQ Nordic, is out now. MSRP is $39.99. It seems to be pretty okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm not used to these type of games. I'm not really good at them. So take what I say with a grain of salt. I hope the gameplay footage uh, speaks for itself. If you still want to see more, you can go read the other reviews. I, I kind of sum summarize or generalize what I've read. All right. Thank you for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much guys. Also a uh, quick note, I don't know, pretty much nobody watches these videos to the end, but if you are, I'm kind of experimenting with enabling uh, ads, skippable video ads on my videos. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that that might make it more discoverable in the algorithm because YouTube wants to push content creators that are running ads. But I don't think my content is uh, worthy of running ads on him. So most of my content just has the banner ads or the sponsor cards. Uh, but yeah, I, I want my content to be more discoverable. So I'm going to turn him on for a few videos. If it gets annoying, let me know. I'm going to have the... Well, it enables pre-roll and end roll automatically. You can't turn it off. I'm going to put one mid-roll ad. And then uh, let me know if that bothers you guys. And then I'll turn it off. I put it on for the destroy all humans video and it seems to actually be recommended more i got a lot more views on it than i normally would so i think it is working but i don't want to annoy the few people that actually watch my videos so let me know if it's annoying i'll turn them off immediately anyways that's it as always hope you guys are staying safe and seeing out there and i'll catch you guys next time I'll shoot that cloud <laughs>